What's happening troops? Welcome back to another video on the Sharp Dev YouTube channel and in this video today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be discussing how good Glenn Madonna is. Guys, before we continue as well, I want you to let me know if you're enjoying the podcast. There's going to be a poll somewhere up here and it will be the question of should I start a podcast channel and upload my podcasts over there? If they directly interfere and make sense to the Sharp Div channel and more of a sports basis, I'll upload it here as well, or little snippets, just let me know what you think. Before we continue, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel as we try and hit hopefully 12,000 subscribers before the end of the year, that would be class. So if you've been living under a rock, you probably don't know who Glenn Madon is. He is a newly emerging superstar coming out the ranks at the Rangers Youth Academy. And to be honest, that might be quite harsh on him. He's not really coming out the ranks anymore. He's looking like an established squad player, if not a starting 11 player now at Rangers. He's only 18 years of age and in January he turns 19. He's been at the club for a couple of years now. He never came through our ranks as such. We picked him up from Norwich, who were daft to let him go, quite honestly. Before the start of the season, a lot of Rangers fans, never mind the rest of Scottish football, knew who Glenn Middleton was, but if you kept up with our youth academy, you would know that he was the hot prospect, the newly emerging player, if you like. He's played for Scotland at under 16, under 17, under 19, and under 21 level, at only the age of 18, which I think is really, really impressive from Glenn. He is now a well-established player at the under 19s for Scotland, being almost a starter, if not one of their best players. And this is a team with guys like Billy Gilmore, and Harry Cochran. To be honest with you, if I was to compare it in my lifetime to a player that was coming out of the academy, it's got to be John Fleck, a winger as well. We've seen where that ended up, but we've now seen how good John Fleck is as a player. There's probably been lots and lots before that as well, but there's one name that I'm kind of skating over there, and it's Barry Mackay. Barry Mackay was also a winger, but I think what Barry really lacked in to be honest with you, he was one of my favourite players in the last few years, but what he lacked was that consistency. And Middleton just seems to be showing it. He's Mr. Consistency. You know exactly what you're going to get from him. In his last three games, he has had assists and goals in those matches, which is just class for a young player. He's been given a run of games of late because of Kent's injury. Kent is a player who's obviously on loan from Liverpool. He's a player that Rangers fans would love to have at the club next season. If we didn't get Kent next season, I would be very happy with Middleton, quite honestly. I still think that the boy is raw. If I really had to pick on him, I think one of his worst performances for Rangers was when he came on as a substitute versus Motherwell away. And in that match, what player actually did step up and play? Other than that, key moments that stick out for me is obviously his brace versus air in the cup, a goal versus St Johnston when he came on as a substitute. Recently, the amount of assists that he's been putting in, his goal versus Rapid Vienna, and his last goal as well for Rangers at Ibrox. I've no doubt that Kent will come back into the team, but he's doing his sell no disservice with the way that he's playing for Steven Gerrard right now. And he's only going to go to strength to strength. I reached out to you on Instagram and you better believe it. Rangers fans are absolutely raving about Glenn Middleton. Good at finishing, needs to try and challenge people and gives ball away too much. So he's been, he's been fair there. He's given them a very good compliment and giving him something to work on as well. Class, class in class. Legend in the making, the future, a future Rangers legend. Hamilton fan comes in with absolutely shite. All right, mate, settle down, class. Celtic fan comes in with, as a Celtic fan, I have to say he's a decent young player, but he's not first team quality just yet. I think that a lot of Rangers fans can see that, but the potential is definitely there. And it's not that he's not ready to start in that 11. It's just that the player in front of him right now, Kent, is an unbelievable talent as well. And he's got years of experience in front of him. The young Messi might be going a bit far there. The young John Fleck, maybe. <laughs> and Marius chips in with, No good enough to be a sell. Marius, you call a Bergos a Berghaus. That's all I'm saying on that matter. If I was to give my evaluation on Glenn Middleton, I think that he is a superb talent. I still think that he's got a lot to learn. I don't think that he thinks that he's made it as well, judging by the way that he comes across on social media and on the pitch as well. I think that he's, 
he's still going to reach new levels. Like, this is just the start of Glenn Middleton. And if he's got good people around him, which I believe he does, in family situations and in a professional level with Steven Gerrard, Gary McAllister, even Graham Murray there, an experienced head as well, to give him some advice. Then honestly, this boy is destined for really, really big things. All the natural resources are there. The finishing, the crossing is exceptional. His delivery from set pieces is brilliant. He scores goals. He delivers goals. He doesn't give the ball away much. In the next few years, when he continues to develop, mature, and work on his body, his pace and his dribbling as well is going to be exceptional. Couldn't make the game yesterday, unfortunately. I didn't manage to see it either. Managed to see a couple of the goals. That's about it. 3-0 versus Livy. Brilliant. Honestly, brilliant. If you want to keep up with me on other social media outlets, then it is at SharpDiv on Instagram, at SharpDiv7 on Twitter. Right, I've been SharpDiv. If you have enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. In the month of December, I will be making one of these little sit down videos every single day. Every single day. Along with the other series that I'm actually having going right now as well. So, the goal is 12,000 subscribers. I'll see you in the next one, and I'm out. All my weakness keep on lingering.